Sport and clays being my favorite discipline, reason why it's like golf with a shotgun. Just like in golf, you go hole to hole with a group. In sporting clays, you're going from station to station with a squad. You're going to have different speeds, different angles, different distances, different size of the targets. And depending on the state that you're shooting in, you're gonna have different climate and different backdrops. You go to Arizona per se, and you have really nothing to judge distance and speed off of. And then you go to somewhere like Georgia, where you're in the woods, and you're dealing with the target strobing, where you're losing sight of the target because it's hitting different shadows of the trees. And so you're seeing it, not seeing it, seeing it, not seeing it. And that's why I love this game, because it's the most challenging clay shooting that you're going to experience. So how a competitive round of sporting clays works is, you're gonna start at a designated station and you're gonna have either one to four squad mates. And you're gonna have a trapper or referee at each station who's going to score you and show you each target presentation. Now at each different station, you're gonna have a report pair, which is you're gonna shoot your first bird and on the sound of the gun, the second bird's gonna go and you're gonna have a true pair, which means both birds go at the same time. And that referee will show you two view pairs, and then you can attack each pair how you see fit. And he will score you after each pair. Now, whether that's a lost pair where you miss both birds, a dead pair where you hit both birds, or a dead loss where you hit the first one, miss the second one, or a lost dead when you miss the first one and hit the second one. So at the end of the round, out of these 12 to 16 stations, you're gonna shoot a combined total of 100 birds. And however many birds you hit out of that 100 is gonna be your final score.